What's up guys, this is Chris Calder again with uh, part 5 of my Rapid Composer tutorial series. Uh, today we're going to talk about Rapid Composer's new feature, Melody Generator. And we're using Rapid Composer as a VST inside Reaper. And what we're going to do is just uh, generate a bunch of different melodies um, over a two-part acoustic guitar loop. So here's what the acoustic guitar loop sounds like. It's basically E minor then A minor 7, and then E minor with a little quick D sneaking in, and then a G. So here, here it is. Alright, I already created the chords uh, to match in Rapid Composer. And you know, one bar of E minor, one bar of A minor. Well, that that works too. It it technically should be A minor seven, but whatever. E minor, and then on uh, count four of that bar, it sneaks in a D, and then there's a G for the final bar. So what I did, I'm just going to go backwards. I'm going to delete these two melody generators, and I'm just going to right here. I'm in my phrase browser and I select Melody Generator. If I hit F, it's going to fill Melody Generators during uh, for this whole duration. So I just hit F and it created two two-bar Melody Generators. And I could randomly um, you know, generate, regenerate these to my liking until I find something useful. The default Melody Generator is two bars, so it put two uh, total in there, obviously. It's a four-bar sequence. The instrument that I have Rapid Composer controlling is Cakewalk Studio Instruments String Section. Comes uh, with uh, Home Studio 7, I believe, XL, which I bought years ago, and I, th I think it comes with X1 Essential, which I upgraded to. So it's pretty good sound and string VST, so you'll hear it. Um, I figure cellos and violins probably have the most vocal-like quality uh, as far as instruments go, so we're just going to try these out, and like I said, uh, I just threw in the default melody generators. I'm going to play the sequence and see how they sound. That's alright. This could definitely use some work. So, right here, normally, you would click regenerate and then you would click apply to selection but uh, the developer created a new keyboard shortcut um, L which is bo basically both of these commands in one keystroke so I hit L created a new melody as you can see and we're gonna listen to this and we're gonna play it back see how it sounds yeah I'm not really digging that either no problem generate another one That's pretty cool. Now this is this again is just the default melody generator settings. So, you know, it defaults when you put one in. It's basically probabilistic rhythm, interval at a half beat, density at 0.45, uh, randomness 0.8. Uh, this is usually downbeat is always a chord note. I like to change it to scale notes only, independent of harmony. And then this is also checked. It says penultimate note is a step above the tonic. Also depends on the chord. So I usually like to deselect that. And, you know, these are like the allowed up motions, the allowed down motions, octaves disabled. But all of these, you know, like melody generator is allowed to kind of move in those directions uh, at those intervals. First note, random chord note. Last note, random chord. That's uh, all default. Climax, we're going to take away the climax. Um, after leap, or we'll leave it at that, that's default. And let's see, I don't know, we'll just regenerate another one, see if we can find something that works. So I just hit L and going to play back. That's definitely a little more usable to me. So it's pretty easy. Um, I don't think really any programs can generate melodies in sync with an audio loop or an audio track that you recorded to a click as easily as this. A lot of the stuff, um, those melody generator programs tend to be standalone programs that you can't really do anything with.
but this is great. You know, so I'm going to hit L again and regenerate another one. See what this sounds like. Sounds cool to me. How about another one? All that stuff sounds good to me. I mean, like that those sound either vocal uh vocalish or, you know, could work as like a, a jumping off point for a melody you want to take in your own direction. Uh, it's great stuff. So that's the default melody generator with just a few tweaks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with these, um, you know, uh, this stuff. I'm going to change half beat to quarter beat. Uh, I'm going to make it a little less dense. Uh, expected movement. Yeah, what the hell. Um, after leap, step or smaller leap in opposite direction, I guess. Um, yeah, so we'll try this. We'll hit L, and ob as you can obviously see, it regenerated something new. And we'll listen to it. I like that. That's definitely cool. Here's another regeneration. Pretty interesting stuff. I mean, it definitely has some of the stuff that can be a little bit weird, but you know, we're generating scalar melodies over chords, so you know, it, it may not have a perfect, perfectly natural melodic sense. I mean, this is obviously generative software, um, algorithmic stuff, but you can get some really good results if you just keep playing around. Here's another regeneration. Oh, I like that. I li especially like that this note coming down to that one. Let's hear that one again. Nice little minor second movement, like right here between the end of the A minor bar and the beginning of the E minor one. Here's another regeneration. Very cool. Here's another. So, I mean, you see the possibilities. This is really insanely powerful uh, stuff. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change this A minor chord to an A minor 7, which is actually the technical uh, uh, chord that the acoustic guitar loop is playing. So we'll see if the melodies generate anything different differently. Um, here you go. Here's another one. Now keep in mind, I, I like that one too. Keep in mind, I haven't generated anything over this, over these two bars, but I can if I want. Now, this one, uh, these, you know, this melody generator has certain settings. You can see quarter beat. I changed this stuff. Now, this one is still the default. So, you know, like it, it's it's pretty cool that it uh, remembers the setting of each phrase. So I'll do quarter beat, uh, lower the density. You know, we'll scale notes because I like I usually get pretty good results with that, and we'll do expected movement, I guess. So we'll regenerate something over this, so, but we'll keep the last one we used, the first two bars. That was really cool. I like that one too. So maybe maybe I'll change this one. And but I definitely like the second half. I like how with this regeneration, the contour kind of stayed the same, which is like pretty cool. It's kind of very it's very human like, like this kind of contour um, that was generated. You know, you got up here, and then you're kind of working your way down the scale a little bit, and then you got some, you know, higher notes working your way down the scale. So it's pretty cool that it kept that consistency. So we'll change that again. Let's try another one. I like that one too. It's nice. Here we go. Here's another. Now again. All these rhythms that I'm using is the default 
a melody generator rhythm called probabilistic. All right, here is subdivision. Definitely like that first half, and then we'll change this to subdivision, and we'll regenerate and apply. Especially like this contour right here. So that was nice. I mean, like, you can get a lot of good results. And if you increase the number of subdivisions, you can get more interesting rhythms. So we'll increase both of them to eight. Oops, I always forget I have to do that and then regenerate. Then it remembers. And then I have to do this, increase it to eight, regenerate and apply. That's my keyboard shortcut L. So we'll listen to these two. Very cool. Like that one too. Like both of those actually. So you might, you know, like, obviously you're hearing violins over and over again over an acoustic guitar progression, but it kind of helps you come up with melodies quickly. So you might have some lyrics, and you might hear these generated melodies, and you could be like, you know, reading, like, you know, your lyric sheet or your notebook, and you're sitting there, you're like, you know what, this line, this song could work with this, uh, this type of thing. And, you know, you could be, like, just kind of humming the words, like, quietly as this plays, and then all of a sudden... You find that you could just mute the Rapid Composer track and, you know, plug your mic in and just kind of give it a go with the lyrics that you think fit that melody. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty, it's pretty great stuff. Really quick before I stop the video, um, the way that I set this up is just pretty easy. I just, um, I open up a new Reaper project and, you know, no tracks. And, you know, grab some loops from my sample collection and... You know, just, these are just two different loops, and then I put Rapid Composer on track one, and I inserted it before the VST. Here's the Cakewalk VST, and you know, it's right here, and you just you just fill out the chords to match the uh, what you hear in the uh, in the acoustic loops or whatever your original music is doing. If you know your chord progression, you could just kind of put it in. And, you know, drop a couple melody generators in. That's pretty much it. And it's just a really easy way to uh, generate melodies over stuff if you're completely stuck. So, uh, one more, one more for the road. Let's see. That's definitely cool. I mean, I, I think this one was probably a stronger rhythm and melody than this one. But still, you know what I mean? pretty crazy stuff. So thanks again for watching and I'll see if I can get a couple more up in the next few days. So we'll see you soon.